So again, our goal here is to prove why two negatives, these are my, I'm saying in general, two negative numbers multiplied, should give us a positive product. So why does this make sense? Well, a simple proof that we can do builds on two things uh, that we might already know, which is one, the property of the add additive inverse or opposite numbers. So like 1 and negative 1 or 2 and negative 2. And our use of the distributive property, the DP, distributive property. If we, if we know about these two things, we're, we're ready. We're ready to show that this makes a lot of sense, that two negative numbers uh, do in fact equal a positive. Let's start with something simple and say that, well, what is um, 1 plus negative 1? Well, this, this is two opposites, and when we add them up, this is the property of the additive inverse. This equals zero. So then we say, well, if we can show that, that this, that negative one times negative one plus negative one equals zero, then we, show, we have shown that this is equal to this. In other words, that two negatives multiply to make a positive. And all we're saying in there is, hey, we're, instead of substituting in 1, let's put this equation and say that if those two things both add to negative 1 and get 0, they have to be equal. And if that's true, then these two negatives multiply to make the positive 1, right? Because they're equal. So can we do that? And the answer is yes, we can use the distributive property to do this. And one simple way to do that is to just recognize or ex extend this expression to say, negative 1 times negative 1, instead of just plus negative 1, let's write it as plus 1 times negative 1. Because this goes back to the idea that if you multiply 1 times negative 1, we do get negative 1. So I guess we also have to know that. We also have to accept that a positive times a negative is a negative. So then we can move forward. Um, what's next? Well, you might notice already there's a common factor between these two expressions here, and that's negative 1. So let's factor that out. And what do we get? Well, we get negative 1 times what? Well, this was just 1 in here. So if we, if we were to redistribute, you could see that you would get negative 1 times 1. And over here, we would get negative 1 because we're just pulling out the other negative 1. So we're pulling out these two negative 1s. We're factoring it out. And now look at this expression. What does this equal? Well, what's negative 1 plus 1? Well, that's 0. And what's 0 times negative 1? Well, that's 0. So what did, we, what did we just do? Well, we showed that by starting with this expression right here, let me start it, right? By, by starting with this, we took the product of these two negatives, added them to negative 1, and without using or assuming that we knew that two negatives multiply to make a positive, we were able to show that the, the sum of these two expressions equals zero, which means, of course, that, that this has to be the same thing as positive one. Because, well, the only thing that adds to negative one to make zero is positive one. So this has to be positive one. And we showed it by using the distributive property, our knowledge of opposites, and the assumption that a positive times a negative is a negative. So that's that's my short proof and I and I think that um, this is something that we can make accessible to all students uh, with the right uh, the white the right approach and I hope that I've accomplished that here